Hi there, it's Sarah Jane from Cards and a Cuppa and I'm here today to share this quick tutorial with um, with you with this 3D tree. It's quite simple to do but difficult to explain um, as I was writing it down so I thought I'd do a quick video and um, just share it with you here now. So you're going to need uh, some designer series paper, card is probably too thick um, Obviously, if you've got a paper that is non-directional, it's much more economical because you can die cut your trees closer together. This one obviously has got um, holiday lights, so uh, I've had to cut it um, across the paper. This is the Season of Cheer paper. Your trimmer makes things a bit quicker and easier. And I've used the Perfect Pines Framelits dies. Now I've die cut this, which is the largest pine tree. Um, but this card, this card here uses the smallest pine so tree. So I've flipped the um, the groove on my on my uh, trimmer to the flat side, and then I'm just going to line up the centre of the top of the tree and the centre of the trunk down the middle of the groove and then just score from top to bottom. Now you could use your scoring tool, um, your scoreboard to do this um, that would work really well too um, or you could just fold it. We've just been folding it in class, we haven't really been um, worrying about scoring it. It does make it a bit easier to get a dead centre line but it's certainly not essential so fold all three trees in half careful of the trunks because they are a bit fiddly and you don't want to rip them right let's move the trimmer out the way and then you're going to need two that you've kept folded and then one you're going to unfold flip that over and then you add Tombow to one side of one of the trees and then Tombow to the opposite side of the other tree and stick that to the first flat tree and it's as simple as that the mistake that um, a few people were making was to glue these two together and then you end up with just a three-sided tree um, and one of them sides is stuck to your card so um, to get the 3D tree then you need to glue this flat part here onto your card and that gives you a nice big fluffy tree so um, I hope that's helped today and it makes it a bit easier for you to have a go at making a 3D tree and um, if you've enjoyed this video don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel thanks for watching today